All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve the problem two to the power of 100 minus two to the power of 99 minus two to the power of 98. So at first glance, you'll probably notice a pattern. We first start with this exponent 100 and then we subtract one from it. So then we go to 99 and we subtract one again, so we go to 98. And all of these are powers of two. So how are we gonna solve a problem like this? Well, for my solution, let's start by rewriting our problem here so we have more space to solve it. So what I'm first gonna do is rewrite all of my powers with 98 in them. So two to the power of 100, well 100 is the same thing as 98 plus two. Two to the power of 99, that's the same thing as two to the power of 98 plus one, and two to the power of 98 we leave alone. And the reason I did this is because this is gonna be much easier to solve as you'll see in a second. So now I'm gonna use the property of exponents that say, states that if I have something from a to the power of n plus n, this is equal to a to the power of n times a to the power of n. So two to the power of 98 plus two is gonna equal two to the power of 98 times two to the power of two. Two to the power of 98 plus one is gonna equal two to the power of 98 times two to the power of one. And then I have this minus two to the power of 98 at the end. Now from here, I can factor out two to the power of 98 because it's in all of my terms. So if I factor out two to the power of 98, I get two to the power of 98 times two squared minus two to the power of one minus one. And this is equal to two to the power of 98 times four minus two minus one, which is equal to two to the power of 98 times two minus one <clears throat> which is equal to two to the power of 98 times one. And this is just equal to two to the power of 98. So two to the power of 98 is my final answer. However, 